investing a little bit more in the food that actually gives your body the nutrients that it needs actually ends up costing you less because then you have fewer diseases. Don't be a goal setter. Be a goal finisher. Can you get better as you get older? Let me know if you believe that you can reverse the aging process. I've been focusing on reversing my aging for 12 years. And there are certain things that I'm doing that are making a difference. And so let me know, do you believe it's possible to reverse the aging process? So what are some of the things that can be done to reverse the aging process? There's so much research going on right now, uh, obviously in um, the world of biochemistry, uh, the world of neuroscience, the world of exercise. So what are some of the things you may be doing to reverse your aging? All right, so what is it that we could be doing? I just read an article uh, two, three days ago that um, scientists, many scientists believe that uh, our bodies, the way we are structured right now, we can live at least until 150. So with all of the advancements in the next you know, 10, 20 years, I believe that we'll easily get to 100 as a baseline. Uh, and then for those who really want to focus on aging gracefully, uh, I believe that 60 is the new 40, uh, 80 is the new 60. Do you believe that? So let me know, do you believe that that is possible? Like, what are you doing right now all right, what are you doing right now to reverse the aging process? If you were on last week when I talked about my own journey, 12 years ago, I was 243 pounds, 33% body fat, borderline hypertensive, borderline diabetic, fatty liver, and um, I was inflamed, didn't look good, didn't feel good, didn't have a lot of energy. So I decided that I was gonna make some changes in my life. So I started to uh, really focus on the research, right? So instead of uh, hoping and praying, I focused on the research. And so we already know some of the fundamentals. I wrote down a whole bunch of things to discuss with you, but we already know, you know the fundamentals, right? We know that exercise can help us reverse the aging process, right? It helps in obviously elimination. It helps in mitochondrial activity. Uh, we know that uh, nutrition, what we eat does make a huge difference, right? So uh, I'm curious, are you exercising? And if you are, how many days a week do you exercise? I'm just curious. I exercise six days a week for about an hour and 15 minutes each day. And I do a mixture of um, cardiovascular exercise and strength training and uh, ligament training and balance uh, work as well. Two days a week, six days a week. How about you? Well, how much are you exercising, if at all? And if you're not, it's the least expensive way to um, reverse the aging process and to feel better as well. So exercise twice a day, twi two times, 45 minutes, uh, various kettlebell, jumping rope, uh, I like a mixture of different things. In the in the winter, I like to ski and and do um, do weights and and do anything outdoors. So yoga, ride a bike, yeah. So exercise is really important. What about nutrition? What about uh, organic food versus you know uh, food that is not organic? What do you think about that? I started eating organic food several years ago. Not a hundred percent, probably about eighty five percent. I became a vegan uh, eight and a half years ago or so, nine years ago, actually in July, it'll be nine years. So I eat um, a plant-based diet. And so uh, why? Uh, easier for digestion for me, um, organic uh, foods that have all the colors, you know, the phyto, phytonutrients, reds, greens, yellows, blues, purples. Um, I want all of the different phytonutrients that are alive. Uh, it, you know, in my opinion and in my research, the more food that we eat that's alive, um, the more nutritionally dense it is for us with the, the vitamins, the minerals uh, that we need, the fiber that we need for elimination, the probiotics that we need, you know, the gut bacteria, the gut microbe um, has been studied for quite some time, but it really in the last four or five years, it's really been an explosion of people talking about your gut microbe, right? 
uh, that uh, the you you've got obviously your brain, you know the uh, I guess the head honcho, uh, but you've got your heart as well, and the uh, intelligence of the heart and the brain part of heart, but also your gut. And so if you're feeding your uh, gut with prebiotics and probiotics, right? That gives your gut the ability, the uh, trillions of cells in our body and the hundreds of millions uh, of uh, hundreds of billions of gut uh, bacteria uh, gives them the food that they need to do what they do. So are you focusing on your gut health as well? So David, organic is so much more expensive there. Yeah, I understand. Um, but sometimes, you know, investing a little bit more in the food that actually uh, gives your body the nutrients that it needs actually ends up costing you less because then you have fewer diseases that you have to pay for, right? So think about the, the, the initial cost may be cheaper, but sometimes spending less costs you more, right? So, uh, so exercise, uh, critical breathing. How many of you are doing breathing exercises, gut microbe, huge, huge, huge. Um, I, uh, I focus on my gut microbe uh, every single day. I've done uh, tests to determine what kind of gut microbe I have. And, um, and so I'm very into doing blood work, uh, working with functional medicine uh, doctors uh, or a doctor for the last several years to do a blood tests to see exactly what's happening um, in my blood and then taking vitamins and minerals uh, according to what my blood work is showing. And so a few things that you could be doing, right? There's your traditional doctor is going to look at your general uh, markers, but a functional medicine doctor is going to be working on a lot deeper levels of uh, testing and uh, recommendations as well. Yeah, wh when we're breathing, Right. Not only are we reducing our stress levels and possibly our cortisol levels, which may make it hard for us to sleep, may make it hard for us to release fat, may make it hard for us to be calm. Right. Uh, but when we're breathing, is it possible that the oxygen in the air, right, two molecules of hydrogen, one of oxygen, H2O, is it possible that that oxygen actually is what is needed by your mitochondria to spark the mitochondrial chemical reaction? Just saying, uh, of course it does. That's why exercise also helps. It oxygenates your brain, oxygenates your lungs, your cells that give you more energy, right? If you think about uh, the idea, people say, uh, I don't have energy. Well, if you're eating foods that require more energy to digest them than they give you, of course you're not gonna have energy. If you're not breathing and circulating the hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon that you take in with each breath, um, and you're not activating the mitochondrial, um, you know, the mitochondria in your cells, you may be sluggish. So if you're not eating uh, the right way, if you're not exercising, if you're not breathing in a way that gives you a release of energy, if you are made up of a hundred trillion cells, right? Um, and those cells uh, have a mitochondria and that mitochondria is the energy storehouse of the cell. Doesn't it make sense that if you want more energy, um, you want to activate the energy resources within you that you already have. When people tell me I don't have any energy, I go, what do you mean you don't have any energy? Uh, all you are is energy. Maybe a better statement would be, I don't know how to release my energy. I don't know how to eat properly to give me the replenishment of the glycogen store so I can use that fuel uh, in the right amounts. So uh, what about antioxidants? What about, you know, mushrooms, adaptogens? Adaptogens will regulate your adrenal glands, your cortisol levels, your pituitary gland, um, responsible for the release, uh, uh, allowing other glands to release the hormones. So adaptogens like uh, mushrooms, ginseng, certain mushrooms, reishi uh, mushrooms, lion's mane mushrooms, um, ginseng, Siberian ginseng, uh, ro rhodiola, uh, are all adaptogens that allow you to handle stress better. When you handle stress better, 
you don't fatigue your adrenal glands. When you don't fatigue your adrenal glands, your cortisol levels lower. When your cortisol levels lower, you're actually a lot calmer. Uh, does this make sense? So it's a combination of a variety of different things that you can be doing to be healthier. And here's something that I think is, um, uh, is, is worthy of pondering, right? And, and that is, how do you want to age? Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? I'll be 60 in September of this year. Um, so at 59 plus, I'm in the best shape of my adult life, but it was a deliberate decision to really focus on my health and well-being. And that stemmed from what kind of a lifestyle that I want to live in my 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. And one of the first decisions I made is I wanted to ski. I wanted to travel the world. Uh, I wanted to you know, do things like jump out of planes, which I've done before. And I wanted to be extremely active. Um, sugar as well, sugar, sugar, sugar. I took um, refined sugar out of my diet. I do eat, um, eat sugar that comes in blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and bananas, which is usually what I eat. Are your habits causing you to reverse your aging or to accelerate your aging? Think about that. Are your eating habits causing you to reverse your aging or accelerate your aging? Are your exercise habits or lack thereof, your food habits, your sleep? What about sleep? We didn't talk, right? We didn't talk about sleep yet. And I have that uh, over here. What about sleep? Do you think sleep is important? Do you think understanding circadian rhythm, okay, the rhythm of the earth, do you think that may play a part in your aging process? Do you think that sleeping, let's say six to eight hours a night, do you think that that helps reduce stress? Do you think that that helps increase energy? Do you think that that helps with the aging process? Of course it does. If you're not sleeping well, you may be affecting your, your leptin levels, which are directly tied. It's a, leptin is a hormone that may prevent you from uh, losing fat. Um, and so there is this entire circadian rhythm um, that is really, really important. I used to sleep like four or five hours a night. And when I started to do the, re the research, I, I stopped you know, sleeping only four or five hours a night. Uh, I started to sleep six to eight hours a night, usually six to seven. And I could tell you the, um, the energy that I have, the, the way that I feel is so much better. So if you think about your, your, your body, right? We have systems, right? We have the endocrine system, cardiovascular system, digestive system. Uh, we have the nervous system. We have the system that work hopefully synergistically together to create a state of at ease and well-being. And if these systems are not working well together, we're in a state of dis-ease, which leads to disintegration, which leads to death. So which pattern, okay, are you in? And William, Right, you know, for some people, uh, you can sleep more. Three hours your wake up time. Yeah, that that's challenging depending on what time you go to sleep. So when I'm when I think about an anti aging plan for myself, uh, I'm going to give you my list. Um, I think of exercise, sleep, reduction of stress, meditation every day, mindfulness throughout the day, intermittent fasting. All right, how many of you have been doing the research lately on intermittent fasting and what it does to the body, right? So when we fast, let's say 16 hours, so let's say you stop eating at six or seven o'clock at night and you don't have anything other than water for 16 hours, are you aware that intermittent fasting produces a light, light state of ketosis where you're burning some fat if you're doing it right, but it also can activate stem cell growth for healing and repair. So not only can you 
get into a fat burning state more frequently. But if you're following up with really good high density foods that give you energy instead of taking, uh, taking more energy than they give you, then you can really augment life. Uh, Dr. Victor Longo wrote a great book called The Longevity Diet several years ago. And he did a, a bunch of research on the blue zones around the world. The, uh, I think it's the seven or eight zones where people live okay, the longest, but not just they live the longest, but they seem to be the healthiest and happiest. Um, the other thing that came up in his research, and not a lot of people talk about this, community. A community, people and friends, okay, that you can share your life with. Uh, even us sharing right now, I feel a sense of community with you. Hopefully you feel a sense of community with me. You know, every Tuesday I go live, you know, on Instagram and on LinkedIn and on my Facebook fan page. And I get feedback from you. So there's this sense of community that we have, a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, a sense of laughter, a sense of learning, a sense of curiosity, right? So as we are, um, um, you know, in this community, it's great. And uh, I just saw something from, um, from somebody on, uh, on a topic that's actually really, really good. Yeah, autophagy or autophagy uh, with fasting, uh, where your healthy cells eat your uh, less healthy cells. So that happens with intermittent fasting as well. So I do intermittent fasting uh, several times a week uh, where I stop eating around 6.30 at night uh, when I have dinner with my wife, then I won't eat till 12 or one o'clock the next day. Um, three times a year, I do a four to seven day intermittent low calorie fast uh, where I'm eating um, probably about um, 800 to 1200 calories a day. Um, and uh, uh, I go into a state of ketosis where I move from a carb or sugar burning uh, system to a fat burning system. And so that is you know, something that I do as well. As I mentioned before, uh, organic whole foods. What about, hold on, what about this? What about, well, not, not my cup, but what about water? What about water, water, water to kick up metabolism, to eliminate toxins, to create proper bowel movements, right? That's the third or fourth one today already, and it's only 9.30 here, right? So there are so many things that we could be doing in order for us to augment our life. So let me ask you a question. Do you take supplements? All right, so what kind of supplements do you take? I take multi-minerals and vitamins. Uh, I take maca. I take um, uh, Udo's Choice Oil for omega-3, 6, and 9 for my brain and for digestion. Uh, I take uh, cacao, raw cacao. Uh, I take a variety of different vitamins and minerals, but not just any types of vitamins or minerals. I, uh, I subscribe to a company called the Life Extension Foundation, which does some great research. And so I get a lot of stuff from them. So vitamins and minerals, are you taking vitamins and minerals? So that, listen, there's so many things that you can do, right? And so here's my question for you. Uh, since we're talking about this stuff, uh, talking about it is great. It gives you awareness. But can I maybe challenge you? All right. Can I challenge you? Can I challenge you for something? What is one thing, right? Behavior, right, is what gives us the learning and the result. It's not learning about stuff, thinking about it. It's actually taking action. So what's one thing that you are going to commit to me? Right now, I'm going to commit to starting cold showers today as adding that to my arsenal of anti-aging. Okay, so I'm going to commit to cold showers. Um, and so what is one thing that you can commit, okay, to doing for the next seven days? I'm going to do cold shower every day for seven days. All right, so if you're already doing them, what is one thing that you can add that let's have a little bit of fun? 
right? So let's have a little bit of fun. So pre-exercise, how long? Uh, Anna, yeah, full cold shower, just cold shower right on cold. All right, so Emic, you too, Antoinette, water with lemon. All right, come on, all my Instagram friends too. What do you commit to doing? One thing, one thing, six to eight hours of sleep a night, more water, how much more specifically? So invisible walk 10 miles every day, that's a big goal. 30 minutes of sports a day, not eating at night. Oh, good, okay, so Andrew, I'm gonna add that also, especially right now. Uh, some of you know, I showed this last week, I'm working on this right now. I have a goal for September 14th to have a six pack at 60. So I'm in a really, really, really uh, regimented time right now. So I'm gonna start the cold showers on top of everything I'm doing and no eating, okay, after dinner, which sometimes I have a little uh, unsweetened yogurt with some psyllium and some oil and some blueberries. Um, and so I'm seven days of no eating after dinner, all right? Deal for one week for me. All right, David, stop eating chocolate one week. I got you. Um, meditation, 10 minutes a day. Uh, drink more water. How much more water, right? So how much more water? All right, stop sugar. Dijan, I stopped sugar on October the 1st, 2020, and I haven't had any refined sugar since October the 1st, and I'm a sugar addict, or should I say I was a sugar addict. All right, so playing basketball, walking and drinking every day, no coffee, uh, yoga nidra, awesome, awesome, awesome. Intermittent fasting every day, cold shower every day. Come on, this is, this is where the rubber meets the road. We don't make progress thinking about it. We don't make progress, you know, reading about it. We don't make progress until we take action and we yield the benefits, all right? So Marianne ate kilometers of swimming a day. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No artificial sugar, only fruit and try and eat fruit Georgette that's on the low glycemic index versus the high glycemic index, okay? Uh, so as long as you eat the fruit with the, the fruit, that's great. So blueberries, raspberries uh, are, are really good and things like that. All right. So uh, we've talked about reversing the aging process. We've talked about uh, adaptogens. We've talked about exercise, sleep, uh, gut micro, intermittent fasting, stem cells, uh, whole foods, water, um, ginseng, mushrooms, rhodiola, pituitary gland regulation, cortisol level regulation, uh, meditation, mindfulness, um, blood work, get your blood work done, see what your blood is, uh, is telling you, right? Um, functional medicine doctors can help a lot. Are you in? Come on, let's do this. Let's have some fun. All right, let's have some fun. Let's get healthy together. Let's live long, amazing, healthy, vibrant, energetic lives. Like let's die the healthiest we could be when we're dead. No, let's not die sick. Let's die healthy. All right, let's die from being thoroughly used up. All right, everyone, have a great day. If you like this, please share this. Uh, just click on the button to share it. Let's get many more people into being healthy, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, Financially, I want health in every area of my life. Are you in? I focus on every area of my life. I don't focus on just one area. I want it all. My, my first best-selling book, New York Times best-selling book, was about having it all. I want you to have it all too, all right? Hey, this is John, and if you liked that video, watch the next video because it is packed with things that you can do right now to achieve success way faster than ever before.